Welcome back to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. Today we are going to talk about a brand new feature that was released in the public release build 2162. And that is deck effects for the sampler. What this will do is it will be able to output any deck effect to the sampler panel. So first we have to set it up. So we go and we have our sampler panel open. We go to our sampler options. Uh, if you don't know about sampler options, I will put a link to the sampler overview video where we go over all the features of the sampler and you can check that out. We click on our sampler options. We go to audio output and we choose a deck. So for this case, I'm gonna choose deck two just cause it makes it easier to show you. We go back into our options again. And now under the audio output, you have the option to apply deck effects. So let me show you what this does. So now when we play a sample, the view meter shows in deck two, we have full control of the volume, but we also have full control of the EQs now. as well as the filter. And this works on the entire sample bank. So if we add a rhythm to it and put a filter on, It affects everything in that actual sampler. The other cool thing that you have is full control of effects on the actual sample banks as well. So hit a sample pad, click one of our effect slots, Maybe something with a little rhythm. There was one in here too that was an echo that I thought sounded really good on the kick drum. Kind of gives it a stuttering effect. And the cool thing about this is you turn it off with the echo effect on, kind of acts like a post fader effect and kind of disappears on its own. So that is the sampler effects in Virtual DJ 8. Once again, that is build 2162 public. If you're a beta tester, you may have seen this before the release, but we're focusing on the official release, which is 2162. So I hope this gives you a little more insight how to use it. You can throw this into your tool bag of tricks. Now, obviously you're probably not gonna use deck two for your mixing. I'm just showing this for simplicity reasons. If you have a four deck skin loaded, you would have more deck options showing in the options menu here. You'd see deck one, deck two, three, and four. So you could use one of those decks as your sampler deck, so to speak. Deck one and deck two generally reserved for your main mix, so you wouldn't use those. Anyway, that should give you a pretty good insight on how to use the Virtual DJ 8 new sampler deck effects. Let me know in the comments below how you would use this in a live situation. Now it's a very cool thing. I could think of a hundred different reasons why you would use it or how to use it, but I'd like to hear from you. So leave a comment down below. Let me know how you'd use it, when you'd use it, why you'd use it. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and give it a like. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.